Hey guys, today's the day that we actually get to start setting up the Elso Mugurbertai breeding tanks. We've had this colony now for going on two and a half-ish months and we can finally start setting up their tanks for breeding. We have all the filters that we need, we have all the artificial spawning media that we need, all the live plants that we need, and most importantly all the tanks that we need. So we're going to go ahead and get these guys set up into their respective tanks. I'm going to share with you guys how I'm setting these up and why I'm setting up in their particular ways so that way you guys can have hopefully a better chance of spawning them at home because there's not a lot of information on how to spawn these guys and they're such a beautiful fish that there should be more of them out there for people to be able to keep in their aquariums. So let's get into it. So as I said, we're going to be splitting them up into three tanks. We're going to have one tank here that's going to be partially heated, another tank here that's going to be partially heated, and a tank up here that's not going to be heated at all. So in this tank here, we're going to leave the same yarn artificial spawning substrate in here, and this tank here, we're going to have this be entirely live plant. So I want to see what the differences are in terms of spawning between one setup and the other. This setup here is definitely going to be a lot easier to be able to remove individual spawning mops that have fry or eggs in them we're probably going to get we're trying to we're going to try to get them when they're at the egg stage but it's going to be a lot easier to remove one of those than it is to remove individual plants in here that are going to be matted and all intergrown into one another additionally the reason why i'm doing floating spawning mops rather than on the ground or any other combination of spawning material is that research that i've read has shown that they prefer to spawn up in this area of the spawning mops and don't like the bottom. They don't spawn in the bottom areas. Same thing over here, that's why I'm going to have floating plants that are going to be up in the water column for the eggs to actually get spawned up there uh, and not along the bottom. Obviously there are still areas for them to spawn along the bottom if they so choose, but I think they're going to be spawning up in the upper parts of the tank. So that is why I've opted to use floating spawning mops and floating plants rather than anything on the ground submerged like I have for my Celestia prodanios. So let's go ahead and get these males and females separated out. I think I'm going to try to do around one to two males per tank uh, with a couple of females in each tank as well. Uh, and when we're selecting out males and females, they're pretty easy to see. So this guy here is most likely female because you can see all that whitish, yellowish stuff behind her eyes uh, along her belly. It's probably a female. Uh, this fish here is probably going to be a male uh, just because eh, maybe a female. It could be either or. Let's see if we can find a good male. That male back there underneath the, the yarn, that is most certainly a male, and he will be one of the two that goes in there. And then his brother over here is also going to be getting his own separate tank. So we'll be separating these guys out into their respective tanks. All the water quality is basically the same, so we can go ahead and get them moved into their tanks with cycled filters and everything like that. So we have all of the fish netted out and into their individual containers. What I ended up doing was I'm taking all of these smaller juveniles that I'm having and I'm actually going to put them out into this tank here for grow out so they will not necessarily be spawning immediately but I will at least have some more that are growing out and maybe have some more females to choose from because I'm actually looks like pretty low on females. I have two groups here that I'm going to have. I have six fish in here, a very large male, another male and then a couple other probably two females, maybe two even smaller males and this container back here I have one male, one male, and then five other ones that could be either undeveloped males or females. So we're gonna go ahead and leave probably, let's leave this guy in this tank here, and we'll move this guy into the planted tank here, and then all these juveniles will get moved up into here. And the thing with these juveniles, some of them might actually be just females, and they're small, and they're having issues getting food, so that's why I opted to actually just do two tanks right next to one another instead of doing three tanks uh, and having some of these dying off. So I'll be able to target feed these guys better and hopefully able to get them up to a larger size and be able to have some more spawning groups um, from this group here. So let's go ahead and get these moved in there. We're going to take some of the mops that we have down here cycling and put them into the tank up here. And we're gonna take our guppy grass that we have here and move it into this tank here. So let's go ahead and do that and we'll show you guys what that looks like after we get all of that said and done. So about 15 minutes later, we have all the fish temperature acclimated to their new tank. So we're just going to dump them in and let them be free. So no more in there. No more in there. And finally up here for the juvenile tank. Uh, no more in there. All right, now that we have them all into place, you can see 
that we have our juveniles up here with two spawning moths just to try to break up some aggression in them. We have uh, a group of them in here with some listeria, some hornwort, and some guppy grass, and then the other group in here with the artificial moths. So if you guys want to see how this comes along and which one of these between these two works better, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And if you guys haven't seen the video about how I collected these guys out in the wild, make sure to check out that video right now. I'll see you guys over in that one. Have a blessed day. See ya.